What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have this box. What shape is this? You know, I think I know what this shape is. It is the shape of a Dolphy Dream Doll. So way back in like December or something, I decided to pre-order this doll through my proxy in Japan. Uh, this is from a company called Volks, which does a whole line of dolls, which are very tall dolls, and they are called Dolphy Dream Dolls. Uh, Dolphy Dream did a collaboration with Sailor Moon last year, and then this year, well last year they came out with a Sailor Moon doll, this year they came out with Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury. Dolls do range in price from Volks, but this specific one was 63,000 yen, which is the equivalent to about $600. It is a very tall doll, it's sculpted by an artist, and they come up with the entire line very very carefully and everything that's included with this doll makes it worth that price. So this is the first time that I have ever unboxed a Dolphy Dream doll. Uh, I'm not sure if I know how to put everything together so I'm a little anxious about opening this doll and I'm hoping that I don't break anything but I'm gonna go ahead and open it right here on the camera with you guys so you can see what this doll looks like and see how to actually put it together. So Volks did have a lottery for American or international customers as well because they do have an American uh, website or at least they do have an English speaking website. Uh, so you could go there, you could purchase a lottery ticket to hopefully enter you into the chance to purchase one of these dolls. Um, I'm not really sure how that works, so I decided to just go through the proxy, which did charge a 15% um, overhead on the price of the doll. So mine did end up being a little bit more expensive, plus I had to get it shipped out here from Japan. Um, but honestly, I didn't mind that much because they came out in Japan a lot sooner than they came out anywhere else in the world. So I didn't have to wait as long. However, I've been waiting a long time to take her out of the box because uh, I've been a little busy. Okay, so... Oh, oh, I'm so clumsy. Okay, so <laughs> this is the box that she comes in. It is a large box, as you can see. Uh, it does have a little toy sticker right there, so you know that it's legitimate. Okay. And it has this big sticker print of Sailor Mars as the Dolphy Dream sister's Volks doll. So that's what she looks like when she's all ready to go. But when she comes in the packaging, she doesn't have anything on, um, most likely because she is a vinyl doll. So I learned recently, I did a bunch of research, and it turns out these dolls can stain. So like the red around her cuffs can stain, and the black hair can stain her skin. So what I will have to do uh, before I, you know, stick her up there and like, just leave her there for months and months, is I'll have to get some of this tape, which is the same color as her flesh. I think she is flesh skin color, so I can get some flesh colored tape that comes from Volks and put it around those areas where she might likely have some stain issues. So, and they also sell like hair caps, so you can get a hair cap for her head so that the wig doesn't stain her head. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can make sure that this vinyl doll stays in perfect condition for the longevity of its life. And given that she was $600, she better be staying in perfect condition. So let's go ahead and open it. On the side we have a logo. I'm assuming that's the Volks logo, not really sure. This is my first time seeing this. All right. What does she look like, y'all? Oh, wow, she's so pretty. Oh, her eyes. Oh my gosh. So cool. Her eyes are so gorgeous. Wow. The whole reason I wanted the Sailor Moon doll was because her eyes are just so beautiful so i was just like i'm gonna get this one i didn't really care that much about getting moon or mercury and then i saw mars and i was just like oh, she's beautiful so i had to get her so i don't know maybe one day i'll get moon and mercury but that would be quite an investment so i might wait for those ones and see how many more they make okay so she does have a couple of straps one is around her chest and one's around her legs to keep her in the box and she comes bare like this so there's the doll. Apparently this body is the same body that you get with a lot of Volks dolls and then the head is the big difference for them. Uh, you also sometimes get extra hands. 
So these hands might be able to get replaced by other hands if they're in the box. I could also buy hands separately because they're all, um, they all work together. So I could like exchange the head or whatever I wanted. Um, all the clothes are sized the same too, kind of like Barbies. So I could always like change out her clothes too. But specifically she does come with uh, her Sailor Mars uniform and then I also bought separately her sailor school uniform so i'll show you what both of those uniforms look like on the doll as far as being a vinyl doll which i've never had before um she is like a soft fabric so like she's kind of squishy i am so sorry girl i am not fat shaming you okay you are not fat trust me but she does have like a squish to her like she's hollow on the inside uh, and her ball joints are really really smooth but they're firm so they won't move around if you like set her down or she would, I don't know, it doesn't feel like she's gonna slip around or anything like that. Even her ball joints on her arms, like everything feels pretty firm, which is good. Might have some trouble sitting her down. I think she's meant to stand, pretty sure. But that's a huge doll. Wow, she's really tall. Hey, Sailor Mars. Okay, we're gonna put some clothes on her. Pretty. Pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of her clothing items out so I can tell you exactly what she comes with. Aw, check this out. So her Sailor Senshi Fuku came on this little board that's shaped like the Dolphy Dream doll. That's really cute. So this is kind of nice. Her hair, her wig, comes inside of a net uh, to keep it nice and safe. And it does have a little bit of pack packaging material inside of it, uh, mostly just to keep it from losing its shape, shape whenever it's packed. Uh, but it does come in its own little separate packaging, and I believe that's to make sure that nothing happens to it, since this is a very important part of the Dolphy Dream doll. Hello. How are you? Hello. It's kind of dope. Her hair is so pretty. Her beautiful raven hair. There's also a couple of other things in here. Um, looks like we have an advertisement book with a bunch of information about the Dolphy dolls. Oh, it looks like there's info in here about how to put their cap on or tape. Um, there's information about the joints, so how you can install different hands on there. Uh, they also have info in here about what the doll is made out of. That's really fascinating. Hmm, cool. Oh, and it's written in English. That's so useful. So it looks like they have a Japanese area. So this is a manual. It's a manual about how to use your Dolphy Dream Doll. That's great. So I'm really happy that they included this. There's also a flyer in here about the Sailor Mars doll. This shows you information about how to put her together and it tells you, I guess, what directions you need to put her together in. That's nice. I really, I am appreciative that they included that. Ah, and I was wondering about this. So I heard that you have to pierce their ears for them because they don't come pierced. Uh, she does include her earrings too. And down here it shows you that it comes with a couple of needles, uh, which you have to like slide in and then you poke them through so that you can actually like pierce her ears and stick her earrings in there. So I'll have to do that too. So it looks like it's kind of a complicated procedure and it might take some time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so I think I'm going to end up with her in the Sailor Mars uniform, so I think the first thing I'll do is put her in her school uniform so that you can see that one. So in order to get her ready for her school day, uh, first thing we have is her school uniform shirt, which looks like so, and it buttons up the top so that you can put it on her. And then we have the skirt, which of course goes like so. And it also includes the tights that go with the school uniform and the shoes, which are a shiny black shoe, just like you see her wear in the anime. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shirt. I'll put on the skirt and then the socks and the shoes. So let's see if that buttons totally. So the scarf part also has buttons all along it, so you can take that completely off. And then it looks like this bow also has connector pieces, so you can take this off completely as well, but I'm just gonna leave it hanging there. In order to put this on her, I'm basically just gonna treat it like trying to dress a baby. So it is kind of annoying to try to get this shirt over her fingers because her fingers are kind of spread out. So you just kind of have to like force them over her fingers, which is a little bit annoying, I won't lie. And I'm 
always worried that I'm gonna break something. There we go. So you kind of have to like shimmy it on there. Okay, we have a shirt. That's good. She is almost ready for school. <laughs> oh, and we also have to put on her hair. That's a very important part too. Or the scarf part I'll go ahead and put on next. It sounds a little dangerous when you put it on her, but it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. There you go, girlfriend. You're looking fabulous. All right, we have the shirt, but girl needs some pants. Or in this case, a skirt. Uh, the skirt doesn't unbutton the whole way. It just has two buttons on it, so you just slide it on like so. I'm sure my neighbors right now, because my windows are open, are just like, well, what is she doing? Why is this like 33 year old woman playing with dolls? But you know what, I don't care. Aw, okay, she's really coming together now. All right, so there's her skirt. It's long enough that it covers her bum, which is good because she don't got no underwear. Now we have her socks. Okay, her socks are on. Ta-da, socks. Now we have her shoes. Is this the right shoe? Yes, it is, okay. Okay, I feel like if you have kids, like if you have a baby at home, you're probably gonna have an advantage because trying to put shoes on another thing is kind of a pain in the butt. But I got them on, sort of. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> and her other shoe. Okay, oh yeah, she's still bald, so we need to give her hair. Yay. There's a couple of little, I don't know what you call these things, the little tie things that come in packaging. So make sure to get that out of her hair before putting her hair on her, or else those things will be sticking out. I did want to mention with her hair, it's more of like a bluish color, like a dark, dark blue, which does give it this really pretty shine, and it's extremely soft. So it's not perfectly black hair, it's more of this like really, really, really dark blue color. Now to put her hair on, not sure if there's a proper way to do this. Um, I've worn my fair share of wigs from cosplaying, so I'm just kind of like sliding it on based on my experience of putting on real wigs. There, now it's on. Okay. Oh, she's so beautiful. Wow. Okay, here we have... I'll hold her in the back so you can actually see her. Here we have the complete Volks Sailor Mars doll with her school uniform on. So that's what she looks like. She's got a really pretty long hair, very raven hair, raven locks of, well, very dark, dark blue, not necessarily black. Uh, you can kind of tell too, when you have her hair right against her skin and right against that silver color in her school uniform, it kind of uh, brings out that tone a little bit more. She has really pretty shoes that she's wearing and her socks look adorable. Definitely looks like, you know, a regular school uniform. Her, her hair is beautiful. I'm, I'm just in love with what her face looks like and her hair as well. So that's what she looks like with her school uniform. Adorable. You're so pretty, Sailor Mars. I should probably tell you guys, I have a friend who's coming to stay with me um, next month and he's going to be sleeping in this room because it's also a guest room. <laughs> so he's going to have to deal with like staring at this wall of Sailor Moon stuff as well as this somewhat tall doll. So I hope he doesn't have a fear of dolls because this would probably freak him out. <laughs> her eyes are just so beautiful. I'll try to get a close up of her eyes so you can really see them. Like you can see your reflection in her eyes and they're really pretty purple. They've got a really pretty like glassiness to them. Not like a dead glassiness, but like a really pretty like alive glassiness that really brings a glow to her. Uh, she's also got some blush under her eyes and she's got some really, really nice pretty lining up above her eyes too to really bring them out. And she's also got some shiny lipstick on, some like really light pink lipsticks. So her lips are a little bit shiny too. Very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all this stuff off and I will show you what she looks like with her Sailor Mars uniform on, which should go on pretty much the same way.
Okay, so I am almost done putting her together with her Sailor Mars uniform. And a couple of things I wanted to mention. First is her gloves are really, really annoying to put on because they have different finger holes for each of her fingers and it's really a pain to put on. I think they look a little dorky too. Um, I think it's because of the Velcro and they're not quite fitted, so they're a little loose on her hands and there's a lot of extra fabric at the end of her fingers. So her fingers look really weird in the gloves. Not sure if I'm a big fan of those, but you can't really notice when you put her hands like down to her sides like that. Another thing I wanted to mention too is I'm not sure if she's supposed to hold this or if this is just a thing she came with, but if you try to put her transformation pen in her hand, it doesn't really stay there because she can't really grab it or anything. Like she doesn't have clamping hands. So you can like balance it, but that's about it. Like it's really hard to make her hold it. Everything else is pretty much the same as her school uniform. Like there's a bunch of clasps on the back of her uniform. This one does have bottoms to it since it is like a leotard in this case. She has bows on both sides. The bow here goes on right after her uh, fuku top, the fuku scarf part. And then she does have a clasp at the back of her choker, so it's really easy to put that on. Her high heels are super shiny too. They're really pretty. Uh, and they fit her feet perfectly, so they were really easy, easy to put on. So now I only have a couple of things left. I need to put her tiara on and her wig or her hair. And I also need to pierce her ears. So I'm gonna pierce her ears real quick and see how that goes. Okay, so she does come with two teeny tiny little stars for her earrings. I'll set those to the side. And she comes with a little, a couple of um, like teeny tiny little needles that you can use to pierce her ears with and to keep her earrings stationary on her ears. So I'm gonna try to get these out without losing them. I have the earrings. That one to the side. They're teeny tiny, so if I lose this thing, I don't know what I would do, but in order to pierce her ears, as far as what I'm reading on the thing is, they're really soft vinyl, her ears are, so I should be able to just poke these straight through and get them into her ears. So I'm gonna kind of measure right in the center of her earlobes. Sailor Mars, girl, I am so sorry. There's a reason I never worked at Claire's. I am so sorry in advance. I really hope I don't mess up your ears, girl. Ooh, man, I need something better than this. I'm gonna use the flat end of this so I can actually like hold it in place and poke it through her ear. <laughs> this is like surgery and I'm really scared. <laughs> oh my God, it's working. Okay, okay. I'm actually better at that than I thought I would be. You take your time, breathe, and just try not to destroy her face in the process. In order to have the earrings actually fit, you stick the needle through the hole in the earrings and then put the needle through her ear. So I already started a hole, which should make it relatively easy for me to poke this right in there. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my goodness, I did it. Look, I actually put an earring in her ear and I did not destroy her face in the process. Holy crap, I'm proud of myself. Okay, that was very scary. Cause like the moment you destroy her face is the moment like you've just wasted $600. So she's got one ear earring ready to go. So I'm just gonna put in the second one. Pray for me. Earring number two. I'm gonna try to get these as level with each other as possible. Right about there should be good. Basically like what you never want to hear somebody say if they're doing surgery on your ears. You have to press pretty firmly, but once you feel the vinyl start giving way and creating a hole, you just slide it right on through and it works. Okay, this one's a little bit harder. This is scary, guys. I don't wanna destroy it. Okay, somehow I managed to bend this this one a little bit. I don't know how I did that. I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay, well, I am getting really, really frustrated with that needle that I'm supposed to be putting in that ear because it keeps on bending on me. Uh, and that's really annoying given that this first one was so easy to do, uh, which tells me that, I don't know, something's wrong with it or it's very cheap, uh, which is very disappointing. I'm just gonna have to mess with it after I record because I'm getting frustrated and I need a glass of wine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on her wig. Now, in order to put this on, I'll show you how to do that real quick. You start with the front 
And you just kind of line it up with the wig cap, press down in the center, and then grab the back of it and just kind of push down so that it should be sitting right on her head perfectly. On all sides, you might have to move it around a little bit to get it centered, but luckily she does have a center part, so that does help with making sure you have it centered. All right, and once her hair is on, I can go ahead and put on her tiara. So this goes in between her bangs. Might be easier to put this on beforehand, but the directions say to put it on after, so that's what I'm doing. You know what? I feel like it would be a lot easier to put this on before, not after you put on her hair. I have to lift up your bangs, girl. And it looks like the tiara kind of sits underneath her wig cap on the two sides, and then you sort of slide it down so that it's in the correct placement. And just fix her hair. Okay, there we go. I need to fix her bangs a little bit because they're kind of all over the place. <laughs> oh, her hair's getting stuck in my hands. Okay, so here we have Sailor Mall's Dolphy Dream Sister Volks doll. Uh, she's gorgeous. There you go. She's kind of annoying to put together because everything is very form-fitting except for her gloves. Uh, but even those are kind of annoying because all the little teeny tiny pieces that you have to slide on. Um, her wig, again, is gorgeous. Her eyes are absolutely beautiful, and she's a very, very big doll, which means that I will probably have to find a stand for her or find a place where she can sit back here that won't take up too much room because she's very, very tall. She'll have to go on the very top row or go down on the floor somewhere. I'll probably put her on the top row, though, because I don't want the cats to touch her because she's very, very beautiful. So that is your unboxing look at the Sailor Mars Dolphy Dream Sister Volks doll. She's absolutely gorgeous. I do hope they finish the collection of all the Sailor Senshi because like her features are just so beautiful. Even her outfits are really, really nicely detailed and they're perfect for this size of doll. So very pretty, really, really happy that I bought her, even though she's really annoying to put together. Let me know what you think of the Sailor Mars Dolphy Dream doll and if I should collect any of the other ones. Definitely comment below, let me know what you think, definitely subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video, and of course I appreciate you so much, so thank you so much for sticking around. My name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you in the next video. Jenny.